Hello my beautiful friends, welcome back to my channel. This is Nova Gnome Creations and I'm Nova and I'm so glad you decided to join me today. Happy Labor Day and happy Monday. We're at the top of the week but we're starting with a holiday so hopefully you have the day to yourself and you can get a little bit of crocheting in. Um, I am coming on here today with my very first happy mail. I got something in the mail from Heather at Strings and Threads. And I covered up her address. <laughs> uh, but I am super excited. This is my very first um, happy mail. But I also am going to talk about a few other things. So let's first start with the happy mail because I've been waiting to open this for Monday because it's happy mail Monday. All right, I got my handy dandy scissors. I got this on Saturday and I was like, well, I gotta wait till Happy Mail Monday. Like, it's my first Happy Mail. I wanna like open it on Happy Mail Monday. So I was like, okay, I gotta wait. Super excited. I'm being very careful, don't worry. <laughs> Okay, let me make sure I got everything out of here. Oh, there's a note. Let me read the note real quick. No, that's so cute. I think I could kind of read this out loud or like give you the gist. Um, basically, she saw in my video where I had mentioned I only had one pattern book and she thought she would fix that by sending me one of the pattern books that she published. Uh, she said it's not as fancy as other ones because she published it herself. That is not, don't even worry about something like that. She said, I'm more than welcome to show it on my channel, but that's not something that she expects. Uh, she just wanted to send it to me because she likes me and likes my channel and wanted to gift it to me and that she's excited to join the other cool kids in Mandala Tuesday which is tomorrow very excited to get back to Mandala Tuesdays uh see you in your next video Heather Strings and Threads so cute thank you Heather so Heather sent me a crochet book you guys now I can't say I only have one crochet book so it is a pattern collection with 20 patterns. Oh, it's in color. I kind of expected it not to be in color since she uh, self-published it. Well, I probably, I probably shouldn't show it all to you guys. Let me see what's in here. I probably gotta make sure I like censor the patterns. Okay, so there are dice bags, dolls and doll clothes sensory toys and amigurumis in the table of contents oh here we go i have seen these in her etsy shop i love the um i love dice bags i think they are so fun and i love the dragon uh this one i was like ooh, i need that uh and i thought this one was really cute and funny ah uh, I favorited this one also. I'm excited. Thank you so much, Heather. I am definitely going to be making some of these. Ah, oh, they're so cool. Oh, that one is a possum bag. Okay. This looks like a great pattern book. I can't like, I don't want to show you guys the, um, the patterns themselves, but but uh, let's see, I can probably like cover this up and show you kind of the way that the pages are set up. I think that's super cute and it's in color and everything. I think this is a great looking pattern book. Sensory cat on yarn ball bag. I like this yarn ball bag. Uh, and I love the little corners. In the corners of the um, book, there are little cats playing with yarn. And there's a different one in this corner. I don't want to like show you the pattern, but that's so cute. I love that. Uh, 
This frog dice bag with the mouth being the opening to the bag is just so funny. I love it. I'm definitely going to make this dragon head, though. This dragon head dice bag. Ooh. There's a picture of it also in purple. I think I, think I might make it in purple. The Eye of Sauron bag. I just love these. Bonus bag. I don't want to like take too long. I got to flip through here a little quicker. I love the little, the little dragon heads. And then there's dolls and cl doll clothes. Which I can show you this page to uh, see what they look like because there's no pattern on this page. So hopefully you can kind of see. Twiller's Music in the Park. Twiller doll. I don't know if like Twiller is like something or if that's like the name of it. If it is something... Twiller is completely adorable and prepared for her concert in the park. Okay, so I think it's her name. I was like, I don't know what Twiller is. And then there's the Surian doll. Surian is a beautiful doll to add to your collection. She also makes a great friend to play with. Crochet weighted fidget sensory doll. Ooh. I keep getting ads for these, um like weighted uh, plushies. And I'm like, I was literally thinking like, I need to make a weighted crochet amigurumi. Because yes, because like, you know, um, anxiety um, calming. But yeah, it says that it, it's meant to calm and keep hands busy, can be a comfort for anxiety. That's awesome, I love that. Shorts romper for Surian. So there's a little outfit. Baby doll dress for Surian. Flower dress for Surian. Shoes. I think that's so cute. They're little shoes and a little hat. <clears throat> oh, and I'm even a little sweater. Even a little um even a little shawl. I don't want to like give away anything. Let me see. Is there any pattern on this page? There is. Let's see. so cute okay and then we've got sensory toys this cat with the ball of yarn I love that all right what have we got crochet weighted sensory octopus an adorable sensory octopus that's quiet and feels great in your hand. There are marbles in each leg to play with and the body is stuffed with sensory items of your choice, such as dried peas or beans, marbles, rice, etc. So something you can play with and move around. I love that. Sensory roly poly fidget. Okay, I was wondering what that was. I was like, is it yarn? Is this supposed to look like a skein of yarn? <laughs> So um, this is a two-sectioned handheld roly-poly fidget. Half is stuffed with marbles, half is stuffed with dry beans, and it's meant to keep your hands busy and provide sensory stimulation. Okay, cool. And um, I just noticed, I don't know um, how many of them have them, but I just noticed these few, um, these last two that I looked at actually have a video tutorial link too. I, uh, I don't know if it's a free video or if it's like a link only video, but these um, sensory toys might actually be on her YouTube. Definitely something to check out over at Strings and Threads. <laughs> and then we've got the Amigurumis. Which is Charlie the Bear. <laughs> he is adorable. And the cat in a basket. I saw that one and I was like, ooh. I'm like a sucker for anything in like a little basket. And then like when it's also a cat or something, heck yes. I just think it's so adorable having things in like a basket. 
Oh, there's more little kitties playing with yarn. And then there's crochet abbreviations about the author. Oh, and then there's a, a um, bank of all the pictures of the items. Actually, these might be better, better pictures to show you guys. So some of them I think are the same, but I can give you a little flip through rundown um, to finish off the book showing. So there's the dice bags. Keep an eye out for that. I'm totally gonna make that. And then there's the dolls. And here's the doll clothes. Yeah, I think this is a bigger picture, so easier for me to show you guys. Um, and then here's the sensory dolls. Or sensory toys. And then the amigurumi. I love these, cat these cats in a basket. Adorable. I guess I want to say adorable because it's a little ball belly. His little chunky belly. This is awesome, Heather. Thank you. And this is a gorgeous pattern book. I love it. Thank you so much. And I got my first happy mail. That makes me feel so like, I don't know. Like, am I a YouTuber now? No. <laughs> Thank you so much, Heather. That's awesome. Um, so the rest of this isn't Happy Mail related, but I also am, uh, I also had a couple of updates. For one, I wanted to, um, talk about this scarf. So, um, you guys know that I only started crocheting last year. And before that, um, what was kind of like my gateway into crocheting was I started playing with looms. Um, I had never seen a loom. I had never heard of a loom. I didn't know anything about loom knitting until maybe two years, two years at the absolute most before I started crocheting. And I saw them and I was like, this is a thing. And then I started like looking up tutorials on how to loom knit. And I was like, you can make more things on these and stuff. So I bought um, a bunch of like circle looms and I ended up also buying like the straight looms, um, you know, like the plastic looms. And I made this scarf on it. And my goal for the scarf was just to make a really long scarf. So it's an incredibly long scarf. Um, and I actually made another scarf too, but, uh, this is the one I'm wearing. <laughs> um, and it took me forever, but I was so proud of it. And I made it on the loom and I was like, I can knit. <laughs> I can't knit. <laughs> I can loom knit. Um, but yeah, so I made this on there and, um, now, like maybe a few months ago, I was like looking at it. And one of the things that I never liked about it when I made it was um, the end, especially one end, I believe the cast on end was just like super loose stitches. And it was an issue that I had the whole time that I was um, loom knitting. And I kept like looking it up, um, like how to fix that and everything, but it didn't seem like something I could really fix. Um, I want to cut this tail a little bit shorter. It's bugging me. Sticking out. Um, it didn't seem like something I could really fix, so I just accepted that that was how it was. But especially the cast, the cast on, I guess it would be cast on, wouldn't it, since it's knitting. Um, the cast on end <laughs> was really loose stitches. But now that I can crochet, I, um, decided to just stick a little, um, single crochet border on it. Now, this was a few months ago. Uh, that I stuck this on here, but I was looking at it because, you know, I told you guys, it's September, I'm manifesting the fall, it's fall now, I don't care that it's hot, it's not hot in my apartment. <laughs> so I was looking at this and I was like, ooh, fall vibes, and I was like, that would look good with my, um, why did I leave these tails sticking out so much? I was like, that would look good with my mushroom hat. And, um, I was like, yeah, like reds and like warm oranges and, you know, whatever fall colors. And I was like, oh yeah, I can show them about this. So if you guys loom knit, um, this is a really good way to do the ends of your loom knitted project so that you don't have those like loose ends, um, especially the starting end. I could not find a way when I was loom knitting to make that not, um, super like big, like big threaded, like big loops um to start off with 
So yeah, just throw some single crochets on there. I didn't even have the same yarn anymore because I made it so long ago. But I was like, you know what? This like matches. This matches well enough. So now it has, you know, nice tight ends. So there's a little pack for you if you have some loom knitted items that you um, don't really use because they had loose ends or maybe you want to loom knit but you don't like that it happens. Throw some single crochets on there. Um, the other thing that I wanted to show you is I made a flower. Do you know why I made a flower? If you don't know why I made a flower, there's a video about it on my channel and on Heather's from Strings and Threads who sent me that first ever happy mail um, that you can go check out. But anyway, I made a flower and I farted. I, I farted. Oh my gosh, you guys. I started. <laughs> I started out making a prototype. So um, I used a pattern for this, but I, I wanted to see how the pattern worked up before I decided if this was going to be the flower I made. Um, so this is Lavender um, by Crafting with Daria on YouTube. Um, and so this is just like a standard colored lavender. Um, and I put these st or I put these um, leaves on kind of weird <laughs> for this one, so I'm glad I made a prototype. But I really like the way this worked up, and this is really fun to do. Um, I really like it. Like, I might just randomly be making lavender now because I really did enjoy making um, the top of this. So I was like, you know what? I like it. And I wanted to do something that wasn't just, like, standard for... Llama Mama Gala. Whoops, I'm giving away the whole the, the purpose of those other videos, but oh well. Um, I wanted to do something that wasn't standard because I know that she likes, you know, um, things that aren't like matchy matchy, things that aren't like, you know, in the norm and typical and things like that. So I was like, you know what, I'm going to do this lavender, but I'm going to do it with like her favorite colors in mind. So I made it again and I made the leaves came out much, much better this time. Um, and I made it in yellows um, because yellow is her favorite color. And there is some sparkle to this. Um, I don't know how well it picks up on the camera, but I did it in yellows and like some pastels. I um, double stranded together some yarn. Um, some of it I don't know what is because it was... Um, didn't have a ball band on it anymore but um yeah so I like double stranded some together that kind of like ombres down and I like changed two different yarns and I think it came out cute it's like yellows and pastels and um I think she'll like this so that's my flower <laughs> and um I did my this was my first ever flower with stem by the way um, and I did my stem um, in that YouTube tutorial. She uses like green bamboo, but I didn't have green bamboo. So I just took um, a stick, or I, I took a chopstick actually, and um, I kind of trimmed one down, but then I connected the two together. Um, and then I wrapped it in green yarn to make my stick. Or my stem <laughs> so yeah I'm really happy with that that came out really cute I think um, but I just wanted to show you guys that before it pops in the mail and goes away <laughs> and then the last thing that I'm working on now um, is uh, <laughs> something that um, happy to hook creations makes a lot and then also llama mama Kayla made on her channel and it is um I'm not done with it by any means let me pull this out actually um it, it's gonna be a circular vest so I've been seeing these adorable circular vests on happy to hook creations she does like the kid sized ones a lot and I was like oh those are so cute but I don't really have like a reason to make a kid sized uh vest right now but um I never thought about making an adult sized vest and when uh, Llama Mama Kayla posted that, I was like, ooh, I kind of want to make one now. Look how pretty. I am really loving how this is, like, working up. So, um, I decided to go ahead and make one. And I'm making this one in, like, a small slash medium. Um, it has, like, the hook sizes that you can um, switch to based on what size you want. And I'm doing a 5.75 hook. Um, 
And I think that the small was like a 5.5 and the medium was like a 6. Um, so I'm kind of doing in between the two. And I think that that'll be a good size for the person I'm making it for. Um, it's going to be a Christmas gift. So, but I, one of the reasons why I decided to make it, um, oh, and by the way, I will link the pattern, um, for everything I talk about in the description, but this is the pocket full of posies vest. And I will have that in the description. Um, it's actually really cute. The little kid version is called ring around the rosy vest, I think. And then like the adult version is pocket full of posy. Um, I thought that was really cute. But anyway, part of the reason I decided to make this was actually I knew what yarn I wanted to use because I've had this yarn in my stash since like I started crocheting and I just like haven't used it for anything. I kept like originally I think I kept being like, no, it's really cool yarn. I got to save it for something really cool. And then eventually it just kind of fell to the wayside and I just haven't used it. So I was like, I need to use this. And it is a um, Lion Brand uh, Mandala Cake. And it is in Thunderbird. The color is Thunderbird. And it looks like this. Um, and it has like a little picture of like the, if you, I'm assuming if you knitted it, this is kind of like what it would work up like. But I was like, I always love the way that these um, circular vests come out in like a, uh, in like an ombre type of yarn, like a, I don't know, is this an ombre yarn? I don't know. I always get confused about like, is it striping yarn? Is it like ombre? Like, is ombre still striping yarn technically? I think it's probably still technically striping yarn, um, but it like ombre is into the next color. It doesn't really pick up very well because I feel like the camera kind of um, blows it up, but it's actually like a darker yellow and then it's turning into a lighter yellow as it goes out. I'm not sure if like you guys can really see that though. Um, and then it's going to transition into this color, which I think is so pretty. It's like a sea foam. Let me focus you. There you go. Um, it's going to transition into this like sea foam and then down into the blue and the purples. It's got like several shades of blue and purple. But yeah, I think that this would make a really pretty vest. And I wanted it to only take um, one skein of yarn which is why um, I'm doing it in a smaller size and as a gift for someone, because I was thinking about um, Christmas gifts and I was like, ah, oh, that would be perfect for a certain person. And I was like, I think I could probably do it in their size with one cake. And if I can't do it with one cake, I think I'll run out towards the end so I could just do another yarn with it. Um, if I were to be making it in a larger size, I would probably need like a lot more cakes like let's see how much well there's 590 yards in this i didn't even realize that hmm. that should definitely be enough um because kayla was saying that hers she made an extra large and it took like th almost three full skeins um and hers were i think like somewhere like maybe a 240 or something like somewhere in that 200 um um is it grand or no, yards, yards. Duh, I was talking about yards. Um, it was like 200, you know, ish yards. And so I was like, ooh, three, that won't work. But I didn't even realize this one was so big. It should definitely work for the smaller one. But yeah, so that's what I have going on, you guys. I just wanted to wait until Monday to open that happy mail because I wanted to do happy mail Monday. Um, and I am really excited about that. Thank you so much, Heather, for sending that. That is awesome. And th that you thought about me. Um, I don't, I like am like speechless. I don't know how to like put into words how that makes me feel, but that makes me very happy. So thank you so much. Um, and I wanted to show you guys that flower and I wanted to show you guys this vest that I'm working on. So that is my update for today and getting the fall vibes all like pulled through. We'll ignore the fact that it's super hot outside because it's not inside. Um, and tomorrow starts our new mandala blanket. Also, uh, tomorrow is the giveaway winning, uh, giveaway drawing. Yeah. The drawing for the giveaway. <laughs> Just gonna put those words in complete random uh, order and hope that they make sense. But tomorrow I'm going to be drawing my giveaway winner. So if you have not entered the giveaway yet, make sure that you go and do that. It's um, the thumbnail for that is like my um, like 
little icon thing. It's my little gnome and it's got like the pinky sparkly background. So that should be pretty easy for you to find. Um, and it says 500 subscriber giveaway, which by the way, welcome to my new subscribers. I've been getting some new subscribers. Oh, and I also wanted to um, thank you guys that went over to my Etsy shop and favorited some stuff. I got like a massive um, tidal wave of people coming and uh, favoriting things. So I, that was really awesome. Also, um, thank you to you guys who bought my, um, my popsicle koozie, my Star Wars, uh, lightsaber popsicle koozie pattern. Um, that was super, super awesome. That made me so, like, ah, so proud and, like, ah, it's just awesome. Thank you guys so much. And thank you for being here. And I am super excited to be back tomorrow and start our mandala blanket and pick a winner. I'm really excited to pick a winner too because then I get to see what I'm going to be making for you because in my um, giveaway I decided that I would be making something for the winner so I don't even know what I'm going to be making yet until I pick the winner so it's also kind of like a big surprise to me I'm like what am I going to be making for you guys so thank you guys so much for being here and I hope everybody had a great weekend hopefully you got a three-day weekend and you can get some good crocheting in. Let me know what you guys are working on uh, down in the comment section. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye, guys.